Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we have another hotel room special. Uh, we're going to be looking at the 112 Collective Deadpool from Mezco. And here's the front of the box. You got the X logo. On the side you got a Deadpool little logo and then on the back you got some nice looking Deadpool artwork. On this side you got a Deadpool logo as well. And uh, that's it for the box. It looks very, very nice. You got the Comic Con exclusive sticker up here. But yeah, very cool looking box. Now for the articulation, his head can move side to side, then you've got some tilt, you can tilt side to side, you can put his chin down about that much, and he can bring his head up only to about there. And his torso is kind of restricted, but you could tilt it to the side a little bit, and then let's see, you could twist it. And you can only get it to crunch a little bit. His harness kind of gets in the way, but you could go about that far there. And same thing going backwards, his uh, sword sheath kind of gets in the way. And then for his arms, you're pretty much able to bring them all the way up without messing up the cloth too much. And then you can bring them all the way back. And the cloth is really stretchy, so it goes back into place where it needs to be. Then you've got the butterfly type of joint on the shoulder here, but it doesn't get too much movement, but as you can see, it's right there. Go back and forth. Then you've got upper bicep swivel. You've got double jointed elbows. Then you've got a swivel right here at the glove, and then a swivel at the wrist, and then you have a hinge at the wrist. And then for his legs, they're able to come out that far to the side. He can't really do the splits, but it goes out pretty far. And then it could come forward till till about there. And then they could only go back about that far. And then you have the upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Can't really swivel here at the boot. It's a little tight, but you can get it to move a little bit. And then his ankle could swivel side to side. They could kind of rock a little bit. As you can see here, kind of hard to see, sorry about the lights, and then you could tilt it about that much and then tilt it up about that much. So pretty good articulation on Deadpool here. Now let's look at his accessories, it comes with a bunch of hands, first we're going to look at the fists. And then on his left hand he has like a goofy, I don't know, cowabunga kind of hand signal, I don't know what you'd call that. And then for his right side you have a gripping hand. And then he comes with two... Uh, weapon gripping hands so that he can hold on to his sword then he comes with two trigger fingers and here he is with both of his guns and then he comes with two different head sculpts and uh, they're they pretty much look alike it's really hard to see the differences but here's the first one and then you can see on this one the eyes are like slightly different I kind of wish that the head sculpts were more, more different than each other but they both look good and here's a quick look at the gun the little handgun that he has looks nice and kinda of beat up It's black with some gray scratches on it then just like the Punisher guns you have the clip that comes out you can see the little bullet right there you can stick that right back in here and then he's got this big rifle kinda of gun and this uh, I guess I don't know if you call that a stock or what but that thing kinda of pumps and then you have the clip here that comes out be able to stick that back in here. This gun's nice too. It's black but all scratched up. It looks kind of beat up like he's been through it. And let's see here. And then it also comes with these little uh, grenade canister things that you could just stick into here. And yeah, I'm not really sure. It's kind of pointless, but it, that's cool. And they kind of just slide right out. So yeah, there you go. Then he also comes with these cool little grenades that have like some Deadpool like eyes painted on them. And then they obviously match his costume that he's wearing, his X-Men costume. And there really isn't anywhere for him to hold all of his weapons other than his sword, but for his grenades you could kind of just clip them onto his belt, kind of similar to uh, the Captain America figures. They don't hold too much, but if just for displaying it'll, it'll look kind of cool just to have those on there. And then here's a look at his sword. And I really like his sword, it's very... Uh, it's nice and sturdy, doesn't feel like it's going to snap or anything like that. Looks good and then you can fit it right into the sheath here. It goes in there nice and easy. 
And then of course you have the Mezco stand. You got the big X logo. You got the peg in the center there. You could use the arm to poke the peg thing out. And you can stick this right in here. Then you're able to use the arm. So cool looking stand. And here's a look at Deadpool on the stand with the peg. And then here he is being held up on the arm. And for some size comparisons, here he is next to Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man and Marvel Legends Black Panther. And then here he is next to Figure Arts Ant-Man and NECA Caesar. And then here he is next to Mezco Miles Morales Spider-Man and Mezco Captain America. And you can see he's a little bit shorter than both of them, which is kind of interesting. I really don't mind that for Deadpool. And then here's a closer look at the figure itself. You check this out, he's got a really nice head sculpt, some nice sculpted details on the mask there. And then it's hard to see right here, but on the harness there's a little bit of like a orange wash, just a slight orange wash that you can see there. And then you've got the X logo in the center, you got the Deadpool uh, logo here at the belt. And then on the gloves, again it's hard, hard to see because of the lights, but you can see like some battle damage and things like that. It's all like scratched up, looks pretty cool. And then same thing down here on the boots. You can see some nice like beat up details. I kind of like that for Deadpool. I think he should kind of look tore up all the time. And then the the uniform, the costume is done really well. You can see that uh, there's no like sagginess like on Shazam. You can see that it fits right here good on the armpits. There's no like wings. I mean they're slight but not crazy like Shazam or anything. So that's really good. I think they uh, improved there. Hopefully going forward they're pretty much all like this. And all, all these lines are done really good. They're really nice and they don't feel like they're going to scratch off or anything. It looks really nice. Yeah, I like that the uniform is nice and tight. Yeah, pretty good. Good stuff. On the back, you, the sheath is nicely detailed. Boots are nicely detailed. Everything looks really good. So overall, I really like this Deadpool figure. I think that Mezco did a really nice job. There's no huge flaws on him. On just mine in particular, there's a little flaw on the arm here, but it's no big deal. It's kind of driving me crazy, but it's just uh, one of those things. Um, but yeah, overall, the figure is really, really nice. I I'd say by far it's the best uh, Deadpool 6-inch action figure. Um, I'd w have to wait to get home to you know, compare him to my other ones. He's obviously not as articulated as the, as the Revol Tech one, but um, you know, he looks a lot better. He's definitely a lot better than the Marvel Legends versions of uh, Deadpool. Um, he's probably going to be my favorite along with the uh, Series 6 from the Toy Biz only because that one has a special place in my heart. But yeah, I really like this one and I can't wait to get the regular version and the X-Force version. I think both of those versions are going to come with more uh, accessories and like a half unmasked head and all that kind of cool stuff. But uh, yeah, really awesome figure. Again, Mezco's killing it. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I apologize for the bad lighting here. Like I said, it was just from the hotel room in San Diego. I just wanted to give you guys a look at this figure real quick. And uh, also, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and participate in my giveaway. Pretty much all you have to do is share one of my videos and then send me a screenshot uh, showing me that you shared it, or you could tag me showing me that you shared it, and then you're entered. Pretty much all you need is a U.S. mailing address, and you're in. If not, you got to be willing to pay any kind of shipping charges if you do win. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much and peace.